Hey y'all, welcome to my week 31 post BSG update. I hope you are all doing well. I don't know about you, but I am ready for the weekend. It has been uh, a long week. <laughs> you know, I, uh, I got back from WLSFA Sunday night and uh, the previous weekend I was in New Orleans and the previous weekend I think I went to that party in Brooklyn and the previous weekend I was in Chicago and it has been uh, kind of nonstop. I'm really glad that I have nothing planned for this weekend except for maybe some swimming. So uh, I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy on October 20th, 2016 in Morristown, New Jersey at Morristown Medical Center. Um, five foot eight, I'm 30 years old. My high weight starting weight day of surgery was 265. Uh, last week um, when I came to you, I had just arrived in Portland and I was, uh, what did I say, 185.2. Six. This week I am 186.4, so that is a 0 0.8 pound gain for the week. And 78.6 pounds lost overall since surgery. Yeah, I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy about it. I'm frustrated. Um, I know it's not a lot. I know um, it'll come off soon enough, as soon as I get back on track with normal life. Even though I got back on track, like as soon as I got back on Monday, I feel like this week has been totally on point, but I guess it was only three days, right? So like I got back Sunday night, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday were on point and today was my way in day. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm frustrated, especially because it makes me wonder if I can never vacation without gaining weight. <laughs> um, and still like be a reasonable person. Okay, so I didn't eat perfect while I was on vacation, but I feel like pretty good. I mean, I had some snacks here and there that probably could have been avoided, but not a lot. Uh, my meals were all good. My water was so-so. Uh, I guess I could have done better. But I don't know. I mean, I try to think about, you know, I've mentioned this before, a normal person who's never struggled with their weight. When they go on vacation, they probably gain some weight too. And then they go back to like living normal life and it probably just comes right off, I guess. So that's, that's what I'm going for. So ever since I got back on Monday morning, I've been eating on point. You know, even like I said last week, um, after I gotten back from New Orleans, I totally ate on point last week. And um, I feel like I'm kind of just mitigating the gains. You know, if I weren't back on track, you know, pre-op, I think I would have caused a lot more damage because my mindset was always like, ah, oh, once it's ruined, it's ruined. You know, if I was like on a diet and then I went on vacation, it was extremely hard to get back on track after a vacation. And uh, I guess I can count that as a success that um, as soon as I get back from vacation, I'm able to totally get back on track. And to tell you the truth, I don't know about you guys, but it feels better to be <laughs> eating right. Um, I don't know, I guess I'm a creature of habit or I just, I like structure, but um, you know, when things are kind of willy nilly and you don't know where you're gonna eat and you don't know what your snacks are and you don't exactly know what your schedule is and then you spill your entire bottle of water in your purse, um, <laughs> you know, it's a little bit chaotic. And for me, like, I really like having my routine and my structure and, uh, and I like to have things be a little bit more predictable. So, um, I don't know. I'm trying to I'm trying to practice more gratitude for myself and the things that I'm able to do and recognize even the smallest of accomplishments and uh I think the fact that I can get back on track after vacation is an accomplishment worth celebrating. So I'm sick of that. <laughs> um, also, I posted this on my Instagram today, but there's always so much junk food at my work. Always. A party, a baby shower, a birthday, a who knows what. Always. Like, every single day. Today, somebody, like, came around and, like, put a chocolate-covered peanut butter ball on my desk and a cupcake. Like, not like, oh, they're over there if you want one. They were just, like, giving them out. No thank you, you know. <laughs> I try to, uh, I try to resist and lately I've been succeeding, so um, I consider that a victory as well, but it's hard, and um, you know, I think you kind of grab onto whatever tools or life vests that you can, and in my case, suddenly I've been, I'm like considered this like healthy person at work. Okay, so I guess that's kind of a small victory, um, that my coworkers all think of me as like the de facto healthy person 
That's weird. I just thought about that. That's weird. Um, and so because of this, like, I know that people kind of think that I try to like lead by example and I don't eat the, the, the snacks and the peanut butter ball and the cupcakes. Um, because I feel like if I do, then other people are going to think less of me. I don't know. I guess I shouldn't be letting other people's opinions of me guide me in that way. But at the same time, it's so weird and new that people think of me as a healthy person. And the reason they think that is because I go to the gym every day at work. You know, I come in with my gym bag and I always go and like, I go like every single day. And, um, I always invite people to go with me because people always say that they want to and then they usually bail. Like occasionally, like maybe once a week I'll get one person to come with me. <laughs> but the fact that I so consistently go to the gym has uh, has kind of put me in this new role of like de facto healthy person at work. So, uh, so I guess that's weird and I guess it's a small victory too. So I'm taking that one. Um, speaking of which, I went to a new class at the gym today. So you remember when I used to say that my gym at work uh, didn't have really great classes? I guess what I meant was that the classes they have are not classes I'm familiar with. So um, I've always enjoyed step classes and uh, body pump. Those are like my two things. And spinning, I guess. And those don't often happen during my lunch. Like, I don't know, those happen early in the morning or after work or I don't know, they don't line up. So the lunchtime classes are classes I wasn't really familiar with, but I've started going to some of them. And uh, they're new and they're different and I like them. Um, today I went to a kettlebells class, which I'd never done before. I guess it was like a boots, boot camp style class, which I've also never done before. But man, it kicked my butt. Like I am so sore in whole new ways and I love that feeling. I really like that feeling because just when you think like, yeah, I'm in good shape and yeah, I can handle this step class and I can like totally rock it and up my intensity, then you do some other different exercise and it is tough. And, uh, and that's a really good feeling of accomplishment when you can um, succeed that way. I feel like I feel like I'm pretending to be a healthy person. You know, I feel like I'm a spy. I'm like an agent in disguise. They don't know that really I'm a chubby girl, but I'm pretending to be like a healthy skinny person. And I'm at the gym and I'm like doing all these workout classes and I'm doing them really well. And, uh, and they don't know that secretly I'm, I'm a chubster. But <laughs> um, it feels really good to sneak by with that image, you know, to be able to like just walk into a new exercise class and, uh, and be able to rock it. So, uh, this kettlebells class was tough and I will be going back. Um, so that was good too. Okay. I also, I've mentioned this before that when I work out, I'm so hungry afterwards, like, ah, uh, I'm bearably hungry. I just want to eat everything in sight. And so I've been thinking like, okay, if I just burned, I don't know, 300 calories at the gym and then I just eat an extra 300 calories, then what's the point? <laughs> you know, but, um, that's stupid. Exercising is good for reasons other than losing weight. Um, you know, <laughs> there are tons of health benefits to exercising other than weight loss. And what I've also discovered is that, ta-da, miracle of miracles, vegetables are very filling. Well, duh. Um, I hadn't been eating a lot of vegetables since surgery because they fill me up so much and, you know, are often um, not high in protein and they are high in carbs. But um, I don't struggle to get my protein in. I'm good on protein with the breakfast, lunch, and dinner that I do. So I'm making my snacks vegetables. And uh, that has really helped because when I'm so like unbearably hungry, guess what? A half cup of zucchini or broccoli make me feel super full. So that is my new thing that um, I just discovered this week. Hey guys, I just discovered vegetables. <laughs> that's my new thing that I just discovered this week and I'm going to keep doing it and I'm going to go with that. And, um, and I think that's going to work out well for me. Um, and I'm also uh, just trying to, like I said, be grateful for the little accomplishments like, um, like discovering vegetables as a snack. I don't know. I, to just be like grateful for myself and how far I've come in this process because after, you know, two weeks of small gains, I'm frustrated. Like I'm really annoyed. <laughs> um, I'm really annoyed and I know I've come a long way and I know I'm almost 80 pounds down. <laughs> oh wait, <laughs> side note. Um, my Fitbit thinks I'm more than 80 pounds down because I always say 265 was my starting weight, but really at some point I saw like 269, 
I think was the highest I ever saw on my Fitbit scale. Um, but you know, I was around 265, a little bit higher, a little bit lower. So I always just say 265 was my starting point, but I know for sure my highest weight ever recorded on my Fitbit scale was 269. So anything under 189 shows up as like more than 80 pounds lost, um, <laughs> on my Fitbit app. So, uh, I don't know, today it said something like 83 pounds or down and I was like, no, really it's not. But, um, whatever, you know, these are all like number games, mind games, the numbers don't matter, et cetera, et cetera. I know, I know. I'm just frustrated for having gained two weeks in a row. Really frustrated. But I don't have any more vacations planned until early, no, until mid-July. So um, I do have like fun things planned on the weekends, but um, I should be able to have my eating be on track. So I'm not done losing. I still want to get down to 165. That is my goal. And, uh, and you know, I, I gained a lot of wisdom at WLSFA, but one of the things that really stuck with me was to, like, get rid of these negative mantras. And I know for so long I've been saying, like, these last 20 pounds are going to be so hard to lose. Um, but I need to quit saying that shit because then it's just going to become true. And, um, you know, something that one of the speakers said is that we don't like to be wrong. So if we keep saying things like that, like, these last 20 pounds are going to be really hard to lose, then because on some level we don't like to be wrong, we just like prove that self, that thing to be true to ourselves. You know what I mean? So I'm going to stop saying that. I'm going to lose these 20 pounds. Guess what? And it might take some time. No, maybe I won't even say that either. I'm still working on losing 20 more pounds. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm also really grateful that uh, this mild cold that I've had for like a week and a half has not turned into a really big cold. Um, I never ever ever get sick and uh, I've heard a lot of people say that post-op when they do get sick for the first time it's like extra bad and maybe it's extra bad because you can't really eat a lot or maybe because you can't really drink a lot. But um, for me it like hasn't hit me hard at all. I've just been kind of sniffly for like a week and a half and it's kind of going away now. So I'm really, really glad about that. And maybe it's because my vitamins have been like super on point um, since day one, but uh, you know, maybe my immune system's stronger. Maybe I'm just a healthier person now that I've lost 80 pounds. I don't know. <laughs> um, but, uh, but this cold hasn't hit me very hard at all. So I'm very glad about that. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's where I am. So I just want to tell you a little bit about WLSFA um, because I had such a, such a great time. It was so wonderful. If you're not familiar with it, it's uh, Weight Loss Surgery Foundation of America. There are a couple companies or organizations or groups or whatever that do these like conferences or meetups uh, throughout the year. And I think the benefit really is to just get to meet other weight loss surgery patients, some are pre-op, mostly uh, post-op. And uh, I got to meet a lot of the folks that you guys see on YouTube that I follow on YouTube. And so that was really cool because it's people that, you know, you kind of know their story and, and what they're, they're going through. And then people who have seen my videos were there as well. Some who also have their own channels. So it's like kind of like we know each other, but then some who don't have their own channels and they just watch my videos. And uh, that's really cool because, um, you know, Thank you for watching, but I don't know anything about you. So it was a great, uh, great opportunity to get to meet new people. Um, but socially, it's a weird setting, you know, it, and, and I didn't go with my husband. <laughs> uh, I usually go to like social things with my husband. He gives me a lot of confidence and um, obviously we get along really well together. And so going without him is kind of like taking the floaties off a little bit <laughs> in the deep end um, socially, but I did just fine. I swam. It was okay. Uh, it, it was it was great. Um, it's very much like being at a party for like four days straight and not like woo wild party necessarily, but like think of yourself at like a Christmas party or a wedding reception or just somewhere where you're like expected to talk to people like constantly. <laughs> um, Except I usually leave wedding receptions after like two hours. This was like being at a wedding reception for like four days. So, you know, sometimes it gets to be a little bit exhausting, but it was just so great because I was surrounded with people who share my experience, you know? And I think the the things that we go through as weight loss surgery patients, of people who, as people who have struggled with obesity our whole lives, um, 
we're really kind of a small percentage of the general population. You know, it's unlikely that you're going to just meet a stranger on the street who can so completely relate to what you're going through. And yet, at one of these conferences, it's like you're surrounded by people who get it, who can relate to what you've gone through and through what you're going through. And so it's like these folks, they get you, you know. Um, and to a certain extent, our struggles and our stories are similar. And so it's it's just, it's great to talk to people. It's great to, to get to know people. And, and this is why I felt so comfortable. You know, um, I was a little bit nervous about fangirling <laughs> over some of the big, bigger names. Uh, because at the end of the day, people are just people, you know? Um, and so I really just wanted to say hello to all these people and like, I care about you and your life and thank you for sharing so much. And, and you don't have to feel obligated to become best friends with me because that's impossible to become best friends with every single person who's like fangirling over you. And I get that. And, um, I just, I just want to say thank you. <laughs> and I, I think I wasn't so articulate with some of the bigger named people that I, uh, that I ran into and that I follow. Um, I really wasn't expecting to establish friendships with people. And yet I did. And, and that was unexpected and wonderful. You know, the fact that there are some people I might see again and we might really be real friends, not just internet friends, not just, um, you know, in theory friends, but real friends, that was unexpected. That, uh, that was really great. And there are a lot of you that uh, couldn't make it that I wish had been there. You know, I really, throughout the whole thing, I, I caught myself thinking like, oh, I wish you were here, I wish so-and-so were here. Um, so, you know, I don't know when I'm going to go to another one of these in the future, but if you ever have the opportunity to go to one, I really strongly recommend it because you learn so much. I mean, the speakers are great. You may or may not go to all of them, but uh, really the true benefit is is getting to just be around people who are more like you than most other people in the world. Um, it's like family. To a certain extent, it really is like family. So um, with that, I will say again, thank you. Thank you so much to, uh, to everyone who was there, to everyone I got to talk to. I enjoyed it so, so much. And um, to everyone who watches my videos, you guys are such a, such a wonderful support group for me. And um, there was one panel, there was a YouTube panel, uh, where uh, the speakers were uh, Tanya from v Tanya VHD 2011, uh, Lauren from Lauren Losing, Jane from C. Jane Shrink, and Ange from Lost Ange Found. And uh, it was great because I feel like talking about YouTube videos is kind of meta when we're on YouTube videos. But uh, that was interesting too, to, to hear about the, the process of, of making videos and, and why you do it and, you know, that support commu that community support that you really get from it. And um, one of the things I realized, or one of the things I asked the ladies is, um, you know, why did you start making videos in the first place? And it really, a lot of the, the questions I asked them made me think about my own process and my own journey. And uh, the reason I started making videos is because when I was pre-op, I started watching videos and I found them to be so incredibly helpful, not just about um, the like physical process of what happens with the surgery, but about like the emotional ups and downs and like how to handle life um, post-op. And so I really just wanted to give that back going forward, to pay it forward, you know? Um, and I feel like I'm in no position to like offer advice to people of like how to live your life or how to be a good post weight loss surgery patient, but I'm just here to share my experience and to help you feel less alone because that's what I received from the community and continue to receive along the way. But as a byproduct of that, um, it's also been a really great uh, process of growth for me too. And I wasn't expecting that. So um, anyway, thank you. <laughs> all of this to say thank you. I'm very grateful for all of you and I hope you have a great weekend and I will talk with you soon. Bye.